Bars, Quinnaman Radio Live with Bars in the inbox tonight. Shout out to the OLDBC. Jared Heard versus Tony Harrison rematch, man. What's your take? Tony Harrison is the and the new WBC champion. Uh, unification. We know Heard knocked out Harrison in the ninth round. Harrison did the Great work at the first half in the fight, and then Jared Hurd has stepped up to the plate after the sixth round. So it was this was a really I thought it was a fifty fifty when we made the video as a prediction. I didn't know who would uh, favor in the fight, but Hurd has been my new favorite. I got a chance to meet him, get to know them. Um, really great friends were Ernesto, his trainer, his assistant coach Billy Andre Billy. Man, um, just a great team at uh, Hillcrest, at uh, Boxing Gym, man. Man, those are my guys, man. But what's your take and your thoughts on this unification if it ever happens or in the future? I know Ernesto and Jared are probably sitting back thinking, wow, uh, you know, we didn't expect this. You know, this, this changes our route and path to what we thought uh, for the three belts. And, uh, of course, it might not be the fight they want, but at the end of the day, if her goes and clicks, the three, does he want Tony Harrison? Or did he, you know, what does he want? he got to evaluate that. You want the three belts now from Tony, or do you want Tony, or do you want Jermel to try to win it back? You know, that, it, it's a good question to ask Jared Heard, but uh, what's he got to do? Show Jermel how it's supposed to be done again? Take away the jab? Something that Jermel couldn't do tonight? Is that what everybody wants to see? Because Jared Heard will systematically break Tony Harrison down, possibly uh, probably the same exact way, you know, because Tony hasn't. To me, it's not like Tony has gotten worse. I really thought Tony did great in the Ishe Smith fight. I, li- I thought he did better than J Rock, how he beat Ishe. And then tonight, I love his jab. He slides to the left, pop that jab, try to walk him into the right. He had a game plan. You know, everybody's looking at, oh, Jamal's coming forward. He's, you know, he's all stiff coming forward. You know, he's being aggressive. But his next game, snap back by a jab. Come on. So, Heard, same thing. Heard comes forward. Yeah, he might get his neck snapped back by the jab. But guess what he's doing? He drowns his opponents and stops them. Okay? You know, stop Trout, stop Harrison. We don't need to see that again. But there's a belt on the line. Can't blame Jared Heard. Um, real curious what Jared Heard is going to do. Does he say, you know, what's the point? Let me go to 160, make my money up there. Um, you know, do I really want to rematch Laura? You know, what's going to happen at 154 now? Really shook up the division tonight. Um, you know, the big fight everybody wanted to see just came crashing down. <laughs> you know, what, we're supposed to wait two more years for that? I mean, what's going on with that? Like, we got to... The immediate rematch and like what's going to happen? I, I mean, Hurd did want to take one more fight, anyways. He better not slip up and lose to J Rock. You know, you see what happened tonight. You know, Hurd got to see firsthand, so that's a good thing. Hurd saw that because Hurd, you know, he don't like to leave it in the judges' hands. So J Rock better be ready because I know Hurd's going to be coming to drown him, like he does to pretty much everybody. He drowns him. I mean. Puts that spaghetti in their stomach. You know what I mean? Sinks them. You know what I mean? He, got, he makes them tired. All that food he puts in their stomach. But, um, yeah. That's all I got on that, man. I can't see. I can't see Ernesto and Hurd really wanted to fight Tony Harrison, to be honest with you. Unless they just want to win, because what, what, what would they what, what would they do then? They, they beat Tony Harrison, they win three belts. They're not going to give what they're supposed to give Charlo a shot at that. No, they're going to draw. They're going to move up to 160 after that. So to me, it's like 
I don't think Hurd's looking at Tony Harrison, to be honest with you. I think he's let, let him get a shine, go fight J-Rock, see if, you know see what happens in that rematch, and then Hurd can reevaluate what he wants to do. I don't see Tony Harrison and Jared Hurd ever fighting each other again. Unless Harrison beats Jamal in, in, the, in the rematch. You know? But that's all I got. Well, my take on this, right, and we, um, I know, I know they will fight Tony Harrison again, just because they won the green belt. They said, um, they said it a bunch of times in my interviews and behind the scenes, like they don't matter. Ever has the green belt, they want that green belt. They never been, they never had the green belt. The green belt, the WBC belt, is the biggest belt. Is the most accomplished belt. You know, history has been made with that WBC belt, and they want they want to be they want to hold that title. You know what I'm saying? Like um, like Jerry Hurd said, he won't he won't move up until he unifies. He won't. So and I does I think if the I saw Tony Harrison said fuck the Jamel rematch. Uh, let's let's get it on. Let's let's have the rematch. So I, I'm I I know hurt his game, bro. He's game for that rematch because, bro, they think they can. They they know they can beat him. They already did. What they're gonna do is be more hungry because now, like like they says, Green Bell is on the line. It makes it much easier now because it, it's no it's no kind of fear. The only fear is that they're not gonna leave it in the judge's hand. Now, Jared Hurd being there was a great thing because this is going. This is for every fighter. You cannot, you cannot sleep on nobody. Nobody. You got to treat every fighter like an A level fighter. Even if you think he's not, he doesn't belong to be in the ring with you. He's a C, D, F level fighter, whatever the case might be. Or some people might say the word bum, but. Tony, bro, I, he's not going. He's not going to sleep on J Rock, Julian Williams. He's not going to sleep on Tony Harrison. He's going to smash them. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just great that these guys get to see, it, man. You can't, yo. You can't get comfortable at a champion. It's hard to be a champion. But it's much harder to stay a champion. So, man, um, if the fight ever went down, I don't believe it's gonna happen because I feel like Jamel gonna beat Tony Harrison, and we will see that Charlo and her. But I think we we ain't go. It's not exciting anymore. We might not even see Jamel and her anymore. You know what I mean? There's so many questions now. Like, it's it's over for that. Like you, you killed it. Well, it's, still, it's, still, you, it's, still, everybody... it's still, it's still exciting. I want to say it's not exciting anymore. It's, because it's, it's we, exciting uh, we've, on, we've known that, on, but know. this is, we know Charlo's flaws. Like by now, we know Jamel. Uh, we know his flaws. You know, and, and like he always, he was trying to say before. Oh, everybody talks about the John Jackson fight. I'm a different fighter. No, you're not, bro. You still get painted with the jab. I mean, you're not. You're not. You can be outboxed. That's why you should never get in the ring with Lara. You should never get in the ring with a slick boxer. But you coming forward like you did the night where Jared Hurd, now that's a fun fight. I ain't going to lie. You know, but you're going to be eating some shots. You know, we got to, everybody's got to change their theory on, you know, that's, you know, Jared Hurd is more 60 40 to Hurd now. You know, Charlo under the bright lights, he might not be a bright light fighter. You know, he was aggressive, which I loved. But how effective was it? It was, you know, you got to give him a C-minus grade tonight. Yes, he could have got the W, kept his belt. And, you know, people were like, all right, you know, Harrison did pretty good. You know, but we can't be shocked or call it a robbery. Let's give you know tippy cap to Tony Harrison. You know what I mean? Did he fully deserve it? 
you know, I, I felt like, yeah, because I was, I was texting you all night. I'm like, yo, this dude's jab. You were like, nah, nah. And I'm like, yo, yo it's doing really good work with the jab, man. Because I want to see a guy like Jermel take that jab. Away. Don't, don't you want to see him take Tony Harrison's jab away? Right? But, hey, Tony Harrison got a good-ass jab. That, that can't be denied. That cannot be denied. But that's, that's it. That's all I got. All right. Like, subscribe, comment, click the icon bell. It's the Corner Radio. We at.